Danesfort is one of the finest high Victorian mansions in Ulster, perhaps on the island of Ireland. It's been the home of the US consulate since 2003, and its preservation is overseen by J. Reid MacDonald, who, among many other things, has ensured that any necessary security measures are both sensitive and reversible. Maintaining the building in its fine condition provides a constant cycle of work for heritage building specialists. This is an extraordinary place for the United States government. It's a place that both reaffirms the depth and strength of our transatlantic ties. It's a place where we bring people together from all communities across Northern Ireland. And it's also a place where we take care of American citizens in the back there. It's not owned by the United States government. It's a leased building. This uh, building was originally built for Samuel Barber, um, who was a prominent linen thread manufacturer. And uh, it was built in the mid 19th century. A funny story there worth uh, noting is uh, the reason why Belfast became such a globally prominent manufacturer of linen is the American Civil War uh, that saw the cotton exports from my country collapse. Uh, and out of that uh, came successful uh, magnates uh, like Mr. Barber, and out of that came this uh, beautiful house, which was designed and built by architect uh, William Barr. Our management team here is responsible for maintaining the property in close cooperation uh, with the landlord. Uh, and one shares the outside, we take care of the inside. And to my knowledge, I believe it underwent a successful and really impressive renovation in the mid-1980s, 84 to 87 by the Electricity Board uh, of Northern Ireland, which was the original uh, owner. And it is a, a magnificent uh, example of what happens when people invest time and energy, commitment and funds uh, to the upkeep of a beautiful property like this. I think we have a duty to future generations uh, to show them what the art and architecture of uh, Belfast industrial past uh, was like. This is an exceptional example of a high Victorian house, one of the very best on the island of Ireland, and one that I think we are glad to play a small role in preserving. The stonework that you see on the outside here uh, is taken care of by local specialists. So we rely on their expertise and, and we are proud and pleased to be able to uh, invest in the community that way. It's also a, a project of so many to maintain the inside and outside of such a beautiful space and that's part of our investment in the community as well. Remarkably, it's been quite free of any need for serious uh, renovation, which is a credit to everyone's investment over decades. And I think it's fair to say a credit to the original designers and builders. Uh, it showcases two things. Number one, uh, the heritage uh, of the place, uh, a spot and a moment in time uh, where the prowess of the city as an industrial champion in the world uh, was embodied in its art and architecture. And this is one example of that. Uh, and also because it is today the center of American diplomacy here in Northern Ireland, a relationship that is of profound importance to the president, to, to the United States in general, uh, one that goes back to the very foundations of American history. Uh, and we will do our our best to invest in it uh, for the community and for the United States relationship with Northern Ireland.